now I hear that girl's who write poems about depression. I used to say I love you, now I pray that I'm in love too. Not by my family, not by my brother, just by you. You, girl, to change how I think. You wanna get to keep my hands off for a week. The reason I can't sleep is I have you on my dreams, but not when I'm awake. Gotta need a break. But make no mistake, I ain't never had regrets despite what I should regret. And I ain't dead yet, but I feel so close. I feel so blessed, yeah. I think I'm head over Adidas for her. I sing a song that never ends and never repeat it for her. It will come too close, but the meaning is forever. I would need it for a kiss to make you better, but she's already perfect. She's already broken. Crossroads of where business and social good intersect. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is that we um, upcycle uh, materials that would otherwise be considered waste mm -hmm. and we turn them into one of a kind accessories and products while all levels of our manufacturing goes to create meaningful employment mm -hmm. for uh, underserved populations. Vegas for it's called uh, Signature Gathering. It's the uh, annual trade show for Paul Mitchell. So all of the Paul Mitchell insiders will be there. So this will be a product that will be featured in uh, their vendors mall. So we've been working on this account for about three years trying to get their business. So it's finally really exciting. And so our first shipment is on its way to Las Vegas. So this is what you're going to be seeing. Yay. But I love it. They're completely innovators themselves and they come up with new techniques or new concepts or ways to do things. So um, that's always fun and interesting for me too. And, and also to see so many of their talents. You know, um, mm -hmm. we decided to create a um, intern uh, group page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of them have been, you know, photoshopping pictures that they put up uh, with their content. And I mean, just their skills, you know, just completely blow me away. And I'd like to even learn more from them, too. So, so do you plan on um, continue the internship process? I definitely do. This year, the program was the entire summer. So it started June 16th and concluded today. Um, so that was about nine weeks ago. <laughs> and uh, similar um, curriculum uh, in terms of accounting and uh, estimating blueprint reading um, only in a more condensed uh, uh, version as well as in the employment um, internship piece. The objective of the uh, program is to provide a career orientation as well as augment uh, with some additional relationships and some additional education training and skills. Uh, the students are guaranteed a paid internship um, but beyond that there is an opportunity we hope that students uh, will come back next year and the year after and sort of stay uh, connected and we will be able to place them, uh, should they desire, uh, within a contractor or somewhere within industry. But now since they appreciate fresh vegetables, we go out and we pick something and we make something out of it. So last week we made salsa. So we cut up Roma tomatoes, they learn how to harvest cilantro, cut up onion, put the seasoning in, and we had chips and we had chips and salsa. <laughs> this raised bed is filled with edible herbs, right? Herbs or whatever. What's what it? Chives and um, basils, yeah. It's dope. I don't know if she has any Well, every day that I come here, I, um, I do this journal. And I do three different things. I got three different spots in the garden. I got this spot. It's a spot in the middle of the garden, and it's a spot over there. And in every spot, I measure the soil temperature, the soil moisture, and the air temperature. Pull this thing out of the Then I put the, um, I put the term I did it on there. This one right here is for the um, soil temperature. 
Personally, me, I learned about um, the irrigation system, with the water hoses, um, the raised beds, the rain garden, the general storage. Certain things just grew only organically and that it's a lot of life around. I think it's a good experience to really learn like what the plants look like and, and where they come from. The roadside stand is every Thursday. It's from 9.30 to 1, but sometimes it's 9.30 to 12. Those are um, our prices for the roadside stand, for the things that, some of the things that we sell. It tastes a lot better when it's like Fresh freshly pie. picked. Like Students that are here, they're paid through YOU, and the money that's collected during the sale is split up between the two organizations. These are the drawings that Gregory produced. Um, <clears throat> this is the lower level floor plan, or this is the upper level floor plan, this is the lower level floor plan. Now did Greg have any experience in drafting and drawing before he got here? No. He learned, I think this was his first real experience at it. In fact. Here are the, the drawings, his, his actual drawings. These are his hand sketches that he produced. And we showed him how to do it and gave him the tools. He had a T-square and some scale and sketch paper and pencils. Um, I enjoyed working with him. I enjoy the kids coming in and, and, and uh, having an opportunity to experience something that is new. Uh, when they walk away, they feel that they've created something. And uh, when, the, when this thing is all done, they can go to it and point at it and say, you know what, I worked on that. I helped <laughs> create that. And I'm sure there'll be a, a feeling of satisfaction on his part when he does that. The STEM programs here in Cleveland are part of a statewide network. The way that things started here in Ohio was through a network approach from the beginning. We have an organization called the Ohio STEM Learning Network. It has five regional hubs across the state of Ohio all with committed partners from the public and private communities to support STEM education as a whole that really manifested themselves through what we call platform schools. So we are very fortunate, like other hubs across the state of Ohio, to receive funding from House Bill 1 um, under the direction of Chancellor Eric Fingerhut. And so what's really exciting about the summer internships is it finally put to life something that we've been dreaming about. That's an opportunity to make sure that our kids, before they leave high school, are truly adequately prepared for the workforce because they're given opportunities to take the things they learn in the STEM high schools and to put them into practice. We had great program partners and Youth Opportunities Unlimited who've spent over 20 years working in youth workforce, as well as NOCHI, who's done a lot with STEM-related internships for uh, college-level students. The first day we did interviews to get to know each other, and you realize that Everybody's not so really different. Everybody it seems because of the head trauma, it's been a lot of drama in my brain matter doesn't even matter. I have a twisted way of thinking, thank you, I'm flattered. My mind's in a blender, it explodes and it splatters on the canvas as I paint the scenes of life. My ability to write, futuristic, I can show you what the future is like. We move along because we were rejected by all of America. Please don't fear, there's no need to be scared of us. If you drift out the tunnel vision, look into the light, you can see what the real world is like. But no MTV, sit up chilling with my music B, blasting out the voices in my head, screaming at me. An outcast and I just don't belong, but I tend to not listen because my focus is strong. If I decide to leave, then it won't take long to flee. I have my UFO awaiting me, but, there's no re but I reconsider my thoughts because I don't know if the world can handle the reactions of humanity.